the 17th plenary meeting of the General Assembly is called to order. Before proceeding further, I'd like to remind members that all meeting participants are encouraged to consider wearing a mask while indoors, including the General Assembly Hall and in conference rooms. The General Assembly will consider sub-item C of agent item 117 for the election of 14 members of the Human Rights Council to replace those members whose term of office expires on 31st of December 2022. The outgoing members are as follows. Armenia, Brazil, Germany, Indonesia, Japan, Libya, Marshall Islands, Mauritania, Namibia, Netherlands, Poland, Republic of Korea, Sudan, Bolivarian Republic of Venezuela. In accordance with Operative Paragraph 7 of Resolution 60-251, of 15th of March 2006, these member states are eligible for immediate re-election except those who have served two consecu uh, consecutive terms, namely Brazil and Japan. The 14 vacant seats are distributed among the regional groups as follows. Four seats for the African states four seats for the Asia-Pacific states, two seats for the East European states, two seats for the Latin American and Caribbean states, and two seats for the Western European and other states. The General Assembly will now proceed to the election of the 14 members of the Human Rights Council in accordance with the resolution 60-251, the membership in the Council shall be open to all state members of the United Nations, and the members of the Council shall serve for a period of three years. The members of the Council shall be elected directly and individually by secret ballot, by the majority of the members of the General Assembly. Accordingly, 97 votes constitute a majority in the General Assembly that has a membership of 193 states. I should like to inform members that uh, the following states will continue uh, uh, to be members of the Human Rights Council. Argentina, Benin, Plurinational State of Bolivia, Cameroon, China, Côte d'Ivoire, Cuba, Czechia, Eritrea, Finland, France, Gabon, Gambia, Honduras, India, Kazakhstan, Lithuania, Luxembourg, Malaysia, Malawi, Mexico, Montenegro, Nepal, Pakistan, Paraguay, Qatar, Senegal, Somalia, Ukraine, United Arab Emirates, United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland, United States of America, and Uzbekistan. The name of these states, therefore, should not appear on the ballot papers. This election will be held in accordance with the relevant rules of procedure of the General Assembly on elections. In this regard, Rule 94 shall be applied. Consistent with the practice of the General Assembly, if more than the required number of the member states have obtained the votes of the majority of the members of the Assembly, on the same ballot, 
those member states which have obtained the largest number of votes above the required majority will be considered as elected up to the member up to the number of seats to be filled also consistent with the past practice if due to a tie vote it becomes necessary to determine a candidate or candidates to be elected or uh, that will uh, that will proceed to the next round of restricted balloting there will be a special restricted ballot uh, ballot limited to those candidates uh, that have obtained an equal number of votes I recognize Singapore asking for the floor with a point of order. Thank you very much, Mr. President. I apologize that I have to take the floor at this point. But before we proceed with the elections, I'd like to point out that the General Assembly had made a decision in resolution a slash res slash 71 slash 323, dated 20 September 2017, regarding the revitalization of the General Assembly. And in operative paragraph 48 of this resolution, the General Assembly decided, <clears throat> and I read, decides that on the day of election in the General Assembly or in the main committees, the campaign materials distributed in the General Assembly Hall or in the committee meeting room shall be limited to a single page of information regarding the candidates with a view to preserving the decorum of the Assembly, unquote. This is operative paragraph 48 of General Assembly Resolution A slash Res slash 71323. I raise a point of order because I have noticed, Mr. President, that gifts were kindly being distributed at the entrance to the General Assembly Hall this morning. The generosity of friends is very much appreciated, but I'd like to think that the distribution of gifts, in particular at the entrance of the General Assembly Hall or in the premises of the United Nations on the day of election and prior especially to the conduct of voting would not be in keeping in line with operative paragraph 48 of the resolution we have adopted. And beyond the issue of decorum, there is also the question of equity, because I'm not sure if every delegation should be put in the position of distributing gifts and whether they will have the resources to compete in order to provide the gifts and whether we intend to transform the General Assembly Hall on the day of voting to a bazaar of gifts. I say this with all respect because for those of us who have been here for some time, we have made this decision in 2017 precisely because the generosity of our friends were overwhelming. We are touched, of course, by these expressions of generosity, but I think when it comes to the conduct of elections and voting, we should abide by both the spirit and letter of the decisions we have made. So I raise this as a point of order, but also as a point of reminder, and I hope that the OPGA will uh, monitor this particular aspect of the implementation of the resolution we have adopted. And I also kindly request uh, all friends who may have distributed gifts not to take this in any way as a criticism, but I think it is important that as we conduct our work in this General Assembly Hall, we implement what we have decided. I thank you very much for your attention, uh, Mr. President. I thank the distinguished representative of Singapore. His point is taken, and I would like to ask all member states 
to refrain from distributing gifts inconsistent with the uh, relevant resolution and cease activities for the rest of the conduct of the, uh, of the election. Thank you very much. So, uh, may I take it that the General Assembly agrees with the proposed uh, uh, way forward as mentioned before the point of order? It is so decided. Regarding the candidatures of the respective regional groups, the Secretariat has informed that four of the four vacant seats for African states, the group has endorsed four candidates, namely Algeria, Morocco, South Africa, and Sudan. Four of the vacant seats for Asia Pacific states, the Secretariat has received communication from six candidates, namely Afghanistan, Bangladesh, Kyrgyzstan, Maldives, Republic of Korea, and Vietnam. For the two vacant seats of East European states, the Secretariat has received communication from two candidates, namely Georgia and Romania. For the two vacant seats for Latin American and Caribbean states, the Secretariat has received communications from three candidates, namely Chile, Costa Rica, and the Bolivarian Republic of Venezuela. For the two vacant seats for East European and other states, the Secretariat has received communications from two candidates, namely Belgium and Germany. I've also been informed by the Secretariat that voluntary pledges and commitments made by the Member States in accordance with Operative Paragraph 8 of General Assembly, Resolution 60-251, were issued as official documents of the 77th session of the General Assembly. Before we begin voting process, I should like to remind members that pursuant to Rule 88 of the Rules of Procedure of the General Assembly, no representative shall interrupt the voting except on a point of order on actual conduct of the voting. We shall now begin the voting process. Ballot papers will now be distributed and the voting has thus begun. In accordance with General Assembly Resolution 71-323 of the of 8th of September 2017, the names of the states that have been communicated to the Secretariat at least 48 hours prior to the election day have been printed on the ballot paper uh, for each and uh, each of the regions groups. Also, additional blank lines corresponding to the number of vacant seats to be filled uh, for each of the regional groups have been provided on the ballot papers for inscribing other names as necessary. Members are requested to put an X in the box next to the name printed on the ballot paper or to write the name of another eligible uh, state on the blank line. If the box next to the name of the state is checked, the name of that state does not have to be repeated on the blank line. The total number of checked boxes and handwritten names should not exceed the number of vacant seats to be filled as indicated on the ballot paper. Accordingly, for the ballot papers marked A for African states, 
the total number of checked boxes and or handwritten names should not exceed four. For the ballot papers marked B for Asian Pacific states, the total number of checked boxes and or handwritten names should not exceed four. For the ballot papers marked C for Eastern European states, the total number of checked boxes and or handwritten names should not exceed two. For the ballot papers marked D for Latin American and Caribbean states, the total number of checked boxes and or handwritten names should not exceed two. And for the ballot paper marked E for Western European and other states, the total number of checked boxes and or handwritten names should not exceed two. In the following instances, the ballot paper will be declared invalid if the number of votes for eligible member states on the ballot paper exceeds the number of vacant seats indicated on the ballot paper. If all votes on the ballot paper are for member states that do not belong to the relevant regional group. If all votes on the ballot paper for member states that are not eligible for election. In this regard, I recall that the following member states are not eligible for election. Member states that will continue to be members of the, uh, of the Council next year. Member states that are currently serving their second consecutive term in the Council. In the following instances, the ballot paper remains valid, but the votes, votes for these member states will not be counted. If the ballot paper contains names of member states that do not belong to the relevant regional group, if the ballot paper contains names of member states that will continue to be members of the Council next year, or if the ballot paper contains names of member states that are currently serving their second consecutive term in the Council. Finally, if a ballot paper contains any notation other than votes in favor of eligible member states, those notations will be disregarded. I invite representatives of the following states to serve as tellers and to accompany the conference officers as they collect the ballot papers. Azerbaijan, Bahamas, Finland, Malawi, Panama, and Thailand. Please proceed to collect the ballot papers.
distinguished delegates, may I ask you to take your seats, please. The plenary meeting is resumed. The result uh, of the voting is as follows. Group A, African states, for four seats. Results of the vote. Number of ballot papers, 190. Number of invalid ballot, uh, ballots, zero. Number of valid ballots, 190. Abstentions, zero. Number of members present and voting, 190. Required majority, 97. Number of votes obtained by each member state, South Africa, 182. Algeria, 178. Morocco, 178. Sudan, 157. Group B, Asia-Pacific states for four seats. Results of the vote. Number of ballot papers, 190. Number of invalid ballots, one. Number of valid ballots, 189. Abstentions, zero. Number of members present and voting, 189. Required majority, 97. Number of votes obtained by each member state. Bangladesh, 160. Maldives, 154. Vietnam, 145. Kyrgyzstan, 126. Republic of Korea, 123. Afghanistan, 12. Bahrain, 1. Mongolia, 1. Group C, East European states, for two seats. Result of the vote. Number of ballot papers, 190. Number of invalid ballots, zero. Number of valid ballots, 190. Abstentions, nine. Number of members present and voting, 181. Required majority, 97. Number of votes obtained by each member state, Georgia, 178, Romania, 176. Group D, Latin American and Caribbean states for two seats. Results of the vote. Number of ballot papers, 190. Number of valid ballot, inv invalid ballots, one. Number of valid ballots, 189. Abstentions, zero. Number of me uh, members present and voting, 189. Required majority, 97. Number of votes abstained, uh, ob obtained, sorry, obtained by each member state, Chile, 144. Costa Rica, 134. Venezuela, Bolivarian Republic of Venezuela, 88. Group E, Western European and other states, for two seats. Result of the vote. Number of ballot papers, 190. Number of invalid ballots, zero. Number of valid ballots, 190. Abstentions, 14. Number of members present and voting, 176. Required majority, 97. Numbers of votes obtained by each member state. Belgium, 169. Germany, 167. San Marino, 1.
the following 14 states have thus been elected members of the Human Rights Council for the three-year term of the office beginning of 1st of January 2023. Algeria, Bangladesh, Belgium, Chile, Costa Rica, Georgia, Germany, Kyrgyzstan, Maldives, Morocco, Romania, South Africa, Sudan, and Vietnam. I congratulate the states which have elected members, uh, uh, which have been elected members of the uh, Human Rights Council, and I thank the tellers for their assistance in this election. And ladies and gentlemen, this concludes our consideration of sub-item C of agenda item 117. The meeting is adjourned.